Hello and welcome to the Philippines. This is just a quick video to uh, get you up to date on the weather affecting the Philippines Southeast Asia area. We've got a, we had a, well first of all this red square, I'm on a site called Pagasa and it's a government site. They track uh, storms that come into the Philippine area of responsibility. And this red line here, this box is where the Philippines Area of Responsibility is internationally to track storms. And what happens, a storm will have one name outside of that box, an international name, and the Philippines changes the name um, once it goes in there. And it's Aghon in, in the Philippines Area of Responsibility and uh, Iwiniar, Iwiniar when it goes outside. So when it goes back out here, it'll change its name. A little bit confusing. But anyway, that's what it is. So it started off as a tropical depression. We had a couple days of uh, relatively light rain across uh, throughout the days, a couple days ago. And we've had mostly cloudy skies for a couple days. So I've had my windows open and nice breeze coming through, a couple degrees cooler than normal, uh, which is very nice. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, we've got, uh, anyway, it's even turned into a typhoon. The warm waters in the Philippine Sea out here, you have the Pacific Ocean out here, relatively cool water, but you have very warm water in the Philippine Sea often, and uh, these storms fool a lot of, over the years, nine years I've lived in the Philippines, um, I've heard a number of reporters saying that, uh, forecasters saying, well, this, we're not really worried, this isn't going to turn into anything. And as it, as it hits these warmer waters, it uh, turns into a typhoon and sometimes even a super typhoon. And anyway, this has it come in, put a lot of well-needed water into, uh, into the uh, Luzon area, uh, the, north, the northern big island where Manila is. And uh, got some reservoirs, some dams and reservoirs up there at critical levels, uh, much needed uh, rain to help fill those reservoirs and anyways yeah it's turned into a, a typhoon out here and it makes it makes you know if, uh, these typhoons do strange things but you know there's a lot of forces affecting weather systems there's high pressure low pressure there's uh, mountains and, and winds and, and ocean currents anyway it pr took a pretty well um, right hand turn there it's going to go off uh, this direction anyway and you can zoom in. They've got some flood warnings out. I'm down here in uh, down here in the Cebu Cebu Island here. Got Bahol Island. Uh, you got uh, Negros Negros over here. Panay Island over here. But um, anyway, a lot of rain going on up there. Much much needed rain. And jumping over to another site, windy.com. Uh, you can get that on your tablet, your computer. They've got apps for Android as well as uh, as Apple phones. Very, very good app. A lot of information all over the world, a lot of weather information, and uh, it's free. Uh, I pay for premium. I'm a premium member. I forget what I pay. It's not that much, but anybody that puts out this much good data uh, for free, uh, you know, I feel good about, about paying what whether it's ten, twenty dollars, whatever it en ends up being a year. And anyway, there again, you've got the Philippines here, Mindanao down here. You got the Visayas. You got Palawan over here, and uh, shows you the rain. Uh, shows you our typhoon system here. And you've got a number of things: radar, satellite, wind, rain, temperature, clouds, waves, and uh, much, much more. You can get information here. Um, down at the bottom you can have several different forecast models. This is the ECMWF. Let's go to the GFS model. See what it does. Changes it a little bit. A little bit different look there. Uh, because there are several agencies around the world who track this type of thing. And let's go to the next one. Access. And they've got a little bit different. Come on. Load up computer. My PLDT connection some days works better than others. 
anyway, you've got another one, and then you've got a third forecast motor, mo model over here, Icon, and see what they do with it. So they're all a little bit different. You can see our winds. Uh, we're starting to get more of the southwest winds here, our south-southwest monsoon season, instead of the northeast uh, monsoons. And down here at the bottom, you can uh, you you can track this out um, because I'm a premium member. I think I can track it out further than just a free member can. But you can drag this. You can either hit this button or you can just drag this uh, out and see how see how the system tracks. So yeah, this is uh, this is a great app to use for all over the world. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And you can get a little better idea of what's going on around the world, what systems are moving around. And the USA, Canada, zoom into your part of the world, see what's going on. Uh, of course, over into Europe. They've got a volcano. Are the volcano still going off up in Iceland, I believe? And over here in uh, Europe and Asia, Africa down here. My friends up in... Uh, in, in Norway, you know, it's it's funny with my YouTube channel. I've, I've met a number of really great people over the years, and I've got friends from from Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, Ireland, uh, the the UK, France. My good friend over there, Italy, as well as I met uh, met a lady from uh, I think Chad. I think she she was from Chad, Africa, the other day, standing in line at a at a pharmacy. Uh, I've met some really good people from the Middle East, Turkey, and other countries there, and uh, across Asia as well. And back to Southeast Asia and Australia, met a, a ton of people from Australia and, and, and New Zealand over here, met many good friends over there. And if you want to know what's coming uh, our direction, usually about the time it gets in out here, uh, there's some projection. You, you, you might have a storm system setting up out here. May or may not hit the Philippines. There are, again, many forces. Uh, your high pressures, your low pressures, your major uh, wind systems, your jet stream, ocean currents, ocean temperatures, uh, all that type of thing. Mountain ranges all affect uh, the weather in a very big, big way. So forecasting has come a long way since I studied uh, some meteorology uh, back in the 1970s, dating myself a bit. But, uh, you know, the, the tools have come a long way. Uh, but but it, it's a long ways from being perfect in trying to uh, forecast these. Um, like I said, a, a number of times over the years here in the Philippines, I've, I've heard uh, the forecasts uh, forecasters saying, well, this isn't going to turn into anything. Not worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's too close to the equator. It's uh, it's unorganized. And uh, as it gets closer and closer to the Philippines, within a day or two, oftentimes turns into a typhoon, and sometimes even into a super typhoon. So, don't be lulled into a uh, false sense of security when when these guys say that. Uh, Ah, don't worry about it. It's, it's not going to turn into anything because, for that matter, it doesn't have to be a, a typhoon to do some major, major flooding. Uh, we had we had some pretty good winds a couple days ago. I even had to close my windows a little bit. It was starting to blow papers and stuff around inside of my condo. Pretty good winds. Anyway, wherever you are in the world, stay safe out there. Safe travels. Make good decisions. And I'll see you next time.